Back in the days, if you and your friends had PSP game systems, you could play Killzone Liberation in the same room against each other in multiplayer. It was all done wirelessly through what is known as ad hoc mode. Two people in the same room could also play the campaign cooperatively. Flash forward to today and you can still play ad hoc mode but the other people don't have to be in the same room anymore. They can be in various places around the world. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to set up to do that on a PC using something called the Madness Gaming Network, which uses a VPN. It also involves using the PPSSPP emulator. I'll also discuss ways to find out when everybody else is playing Liberation so that you can find a match. Although my focus will be on Killzone Liberation, this video will be useful for those wanting to play other PSP games in ad hoc mode. To get started, you need to install the PPSSPP emulator. Just go to their site and download it. Then we are going to change some settings within it. Go to settings, then networking. Make sure this box for enable networking is checked. Then go to the Change Pro Ad Hoc Server field and put in the IP address I have on the screen. Then go to System and make sure the box for Fast Memory is unchecked. And in the Change Nickname field, put in a username. Just put in whatever name you want your character to be called in the game. The next settings are optional, but I suggest you change them if you're going to be using a gamepad to play. Like DualSense, the DualShock, or an Xbox controller, go to Controls and select Calibrate Analog Stick. Then make sure the sensitivity is set to something that is 1 or above. Having it set to anything less than 1 will prevent your character from moving at full speed in Liberation. Then select Control Mapping. Here we want to make sure the original PSP's L and R buttons are mapped to the L and R buttons on your gamepad. When I started using this emulator, by default, it mapped L and R to my triggers, which doesn't work very well. To make sure it has mapped them to L and R, go down to the L and R section and delete the entries to the right by clicking the trash can symbols there. Then click the plus sign beside L and press the left shoulder button on your controller. Then click the plus sign next to R and press the right shoulder button on your gamepad. Everything saves instantly so you can back out and return to the main screen. Next, you need to get an ISO of Liberation installed into the emulator. But not just any ISO, this Liberation community that uses Madness plays with a specific version of the game that has all the DLC included. You know you have the right one if on the main menu it says version 1.2 plus DLC by Lindblow. Here's what that file looks like in my folder here, and you can see the size of it. Due to YouTube's strictly enforced pirating policies. I cannot tell you the exact place to get that file. I did that kind of thing in a previous video and got a strike placed on my channel within days. If you get three strikes, you lose your channel. So getting that ISO is part of the process you will have to do on your own. But I have heard that people on Discord may be able to help out a little bit. Even when you get the game installed, you are still not done with the setup process. You need to do some things outside of this emulator in order to set up the connection, so please keep watching. You need to join the Madness Gaming Network Discord to do a one-time setup of the Madness Networking VPN. I'll put an invite to the Discord in the description of this video, but if that invite no longer works, you can use the discovery feature on the desktop version of Discord to find the Madness Gaming Network. When you join it, you should get a direct message from a bot called Mini Madness. So check for that message. If you don't see it, go into the Madness Gaming Network Discord and go to the Mini Madness channel. In the chat there, type in at Mini Madness 
And as you're typing that, the bot's name will come up on the list. Click on it, then type in the word ping beside it and hit enter. The bot will then send you a direct message. Within the chat on that message, start typing in at mini madness, again, just like you did before. Select the bot from the list, then type in the word invite and then type in an email address. The address is going to be used to set up an account, which is free. If you have any qualms about giving them your email, you could just create a dummy email address. A Gmail account can be set up in a matter of minutes. So within that chat, after you type in your email address, hit enter. It'll respond by saying, check your inbox. Go to your email inbox and you should see an email from NetMaker. In the body of that email, you will see an invite link. Click that link and it'll bring you to this screen. From there, go through the process of setting up an account. Your email is going to be your username. Once you have created your account, you need to download an app. It's called Netmaker RAC and it is free. You can get it from Netmaker's own website, which is netmaker.io. You'll see an option to download at the top of the site. Once you have it installed, go ahead and run it. And in the server field, type in this, api.madnessgaming.network. Make sure it's all lowercase. If for some reason you did not get that prompt to enter the server name, click on settings in the top right and then you'll be able to do it and then log in with the account information you just set up when you clicked that link in your email. Now you need to select a gateway that is close to you. So look at the various uh, cities and stuff that it has listed and pick one by selecting connect. The VPN is now up and running. Note you will stay connected to that gateway even if you restart your computer, unless you come back to this app and select disconnect. Also note the name of this app is called Remote Access Client. So if you're having trouble finding it on your computer, just look for that name. Now head over to the PPSSPP emulator and if you still have it running, close it and reopen it. Then start up Liberation on the main menu, select play and then continue. Over to the right, you will see three options. Everything I show you today is to allow you to play the first two options, which use ad hoc mode. The third option for online will not be functional. Right now we need to test your setup. So select the first option, combat zone. <clears throat> Sorry, my voice is starting to go away here. Select join game. If everything is functioning normally, you will see a message saying network initialized. It appears very quickly and then goes away, so you, hopefully you notice it. You should then come to a screen where it says no games available, or if you're really lucky, you might actually see a match listed on the screen. If it failed to log you in, go back and make sure you did every step in this video correctly. If it still didn't work, go back to the Madness Gaming Network Discord and ask somebody for help. Even if you have everything up and running, it may be hard to find a match unless we can get a lot more people to join this community. I'm hoping this video will help out with that, but if you are not finding any matches, you need to know what times people are playing. And the best way to do that is by joining the Retro Online Matchmaking Discord. I'll put an invite in the description. Basically, it's a place where people coordinate the playing of online retro games. You could just go there and ask people people in the chat, hey, when is everyone playing Liberation? But this Discord has some really cool features that allow people to set up a match rather quickly and easily. I suggest you make use of these features. When someone gets the urge to play an online game like Kills and Liberation, they can create an invitation and that invite will appear within this Discord and it'll sit there for a while. People will also get a ping so they'll know that there's an invite sitting there. When you first join this Discord, you will likely get pings for a lot of different games. If you want to turn the pings off for games you are not interested in playing, go to the Manage Games channel. 
select the button that says start managing games. From there you need to go through each section and select the games you do not want to be notified about. Make sure you don't accidentally select liberation. There are also community events for liberation and those will also appear as an invite and a ping. At the time of this video, they do an event once a week every Monday. Hopefully in the future we can get more events going. If you don't want to wait for other people to initiate a match, you can create an invite yourself by going to the Find Players channel and using the bot there to create the invite. Right after you do that process, I suggest you go into PPSSPP and create the lobby for the game. That way people can go there and wait until other people come. Keep in mind that matches are limited to 6 players for the multiplayer and 2 players for the co-op. For those people who are new to the game, I suggest you play the campaign in order to learn the controls because the controls in Liberation are unlike any other game out there, at least ones that I've played. Also playing that campaign unlocks characters that you can use in the multiplayer. That's it for this tutorial. Let me know in the comments section if you have any questions about this setup. Thanks for watching and long live Killzone.